the number one thing that kills attraction for us women. Well, hello, darling. If you're new here, my name is Erica Angelo. And baby, right here, we talk about all the juicy stuff. We talk about sex, we talk about love, relationships, dating, attraction, you name it. This is the sexy place to be. Now, before we get talking about what kills attraction for us women, uh, 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 I want to tell you, has anyone today told you, boy, you are sexy. Mm, look at that booty mama gave to you. Ay, carico, papi, so juicy. You are smart. You're intelligent. Wow, you have beautiful eyes. Has anyone ever told you that you have such a sexy voice? Wow, babe, that outfit that you're wearing today looks good on you. Listen, I think that women, we get to hear this stuff all the time, but how often do men get to hear that they look good? Because baby, you do look good. Unless you're naked with a bag of Cheetos, watching porn and this, then we need to talk. No, really, I was just at the mall yesterday and this guy was like trying something on and he looked good in it. So guess what I said to him? Hey, you look good in that. That's working for you and walked away. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Business at hand. The number one thing that kills attraction for us women. Are you ready for this? But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to turn on the notification bell. Okay, back to what we were talking about. If you are the man who constantly has no needs, that will kill it for us. It'll kill it for our hoo-ha, it'll kill it for our woo-ha, it'll kill it for Everything. That is the number one biggest thing is a man with no needs. How do you know that you are a man with no needs? First off, most of the guys, I'm not gonna overgeneralize, a lot of guys who watch this always comment and they're like, why is it always about what a woman wants? Ah, I'm gonna go my own way. <laughs> okay, buddy, simmer down, simmer down. You know, that's just it. It's not always about what a woman wants. And listen, there are no women out there going, um, I just want it to be all about me and I don't want him to have an opinion or a need or a desire. I just want him to cater to me. Like what crazy girl is out there saying that? None, but you want to hide behind that all women are saying that so that you can remain the victim. Well, not today, Satan. Over responsibility says, I don't have any wants. I'm just here to cater to you. I'm just here to make you happy. I have no needs, desires, wants, nothing. No, girlfriend, my whole world is to revolve around you. And that is absolute bullshit. The thing is, we want a man who has needs, who says, hey, I'd like to go to dinner at this time. I'd like to go to this restaurant. I'd actually prefer not to go to a restaurant. I'd actually prefer to have a picnic. You know what? I'd actually prefer to move the conversation into this direction. This happened to me today and I really want to talk about it with you. Instead, most men show up on dates, they show up in the relationship constantly thinking, what does she need? What's gonna make her happy? What's gonna make her want me? What's it? And we completely forget about ourselves. And that's where we go wrong. That's where we kill the attraction. Because what that says is I have no self-value, I have no self-worth, I have no self-love, and that my world is gonna revolve around you. And guess what? As a woman, we go, oh, I need a bath. You know, are you the guy that's constantly over catering where you're with a woman and all you can think about is what does she want? What should I do? Which, as opposed to going, what do I really want in this moment? Where do I want to eat? What do I want to say? What kind of activity do I want to do? What about me? Are you showing up for you? Or when you show up on the date, you show up in the relationship and you are showing up for her and you're forgetting you in the back seat. Baby doll, that is not okay because you are very important to this equation. 
If she just wanted everything to be about her, then guess what? She gets to stay single. She gets to be with her. But the point that she has chosen to be with you, the point that she has chosen to interact with you means that she is looking for something outside of herself, which could be you, which means you have to show up. You have to be your own advocate. You have to have your own needs, desires, and wants. But to be the man that shows up and goes, I have no needs. I'm just here to cater to you. Basically, you've taken yourself out of the game. And so she is on a date with a robot. Listen, if women wanted to be on a date with a robot, we would just all be locked up in our rooms. We'd never go to bars. We'd never get pretty. We'd never put on this red lipstick for you. We wouldn't do anything. We would just stay in our rooms, lock the door with our little vibrators all night going ee, 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 and never interact with men again. What about saying to her, hey, I would really love to see you in a red dress tonight. Hey, you wore red lipstick one time and that just, wow, you looked absolutely stunning. The next time we go out, please make sure that you wear that red lipstick because you look so beautiful. And when she does it, celebrate her, talk about it, commend her, appreciate it, say something about it. The point is, is you've got to show up for you and be your own advocate on the date and the relationships when you're interacting with women. But if you're continuously showing up as a guy who has zero needs and you're making it all about her, then you've just taken yourself out of the game. So yes, the number one thing that kills attraction for us women is a man with no needs. You know what this means, right? This means that you're gonna have to show up for you. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I highly encourage you to sign up for a coaching session because if you're not showing up on the date and you're only there to be there for her, then she's missed out on the gift of who you are. And in case you don't know it, you, my dear, are a gift. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you've got a buddy in need, share this with him. <laughs> I just realized that my pantry door is open. <laughs> oh, shit. That's going in the bloopers. My notes just fell.